everyone knows bees make honey, but did you know that bees and other pollinators impact 35% of the world's agriculture? It's true, and you may have heard that bee populations have been in trouble lately. Thankfully, more people are pitching in to do something about it, including the city of St. Paul, right here at the Bruce Vento Nature Sanctuary. The St. Paul Department of Parks and Recreation has partnered with the University of Minnesota's Distinguished Bee Lab to install an apiary or hive in this city park. Faith Krogstad is a parks education coordinator and a partner in this unique venture. Now Faith, we're going to take a look at those bees in just a minute, but first, tell us how this unique collaboration came about. Well, I work for the Natural Resources team in Parks and Recreation and we were approached by the mayor's office to find out how can we establish St. Paul as the first city to have a community apiary on parkland. And this also would help pollinators and help bees and provide a place for education for people to learn about bees and their importance in our ecosystem and in our food system. So talk about why parks got involved and some of the programming happening here. This opportunity arose and we jumped on it because we wanted to get the word out about how people in our community could help bees. So this summer we had uh, four bee education classes. So we had uh, youth in bee suits uh, opening up the hives and, and really getting up and cl close and personal with those bees. And it's a great way, they're great ambassadors. It's a great way for them to learn about and understand the importance of bees. Cool. Well, I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna go check out these bees. This must be the place. Let's go see what all the buzz is about. I'm here with Anna Heck, a member of the University of Minnesota's Bee Squad, to talk beekeeping and community engagement. Anna, tell us about the U of M's Bee Lab and the Bee Squad. Yeah, the University of Minnesota Bee Lab's been around for over 100 years. We have some really great research coming out of the Bee Lab. I work with the University of Minnesota Bee Squad and we're the extension or engagement part of the Bee Lab. Uh, we work with the public, we do a lot of uh, mentoring classes for beekeepers, especially backyard beekeepers. And what is your role in the project? My role specifically with this project is to uh, work with the people from the city of St. Paul in figuring out how we can have bee honeybees on parkland or public land um, and how we can bring more people in to learn about bees and the importance of pollinators. Talk to us about the importance of pollinators and what's been happening with their populations. Yeah, so uh, for honeybees, especially since around the year 2006, we've seen a sharp decline in colony populations. Uh, and so there's a lot of different factors affecting honeybees and why they're declining. And a lot of these factors relate to each other. Uh, but one of them is the varroa mite. There's a parasitic mite that affects, that's in every colony in the United States. Um, also, a lot of colonies don't have enough good nutrition from flowers. Uh, bees need sources of clean and healthy pollen and nectar and so we need more flowers and we need uh, flowers that don't have pesticide levels that affect the health of the colonies. More flowers, that's something that folks at home can help out with. Yeah, definitely. We, uh, we say, always say the best thing to do for honeybees is to plant flowers. And that brings the bee squad to places like the Bruce Vento Nature Sanctuary. Yeah, so this is um, this apiary has been a really great way to talk to lots of people about what's going on with bees, the problems that they face, and what they can do in order to help bees uh, be healthy. Well, thanks, Anna, and the rest of the Bee Squad. Keep up the great work. Now, if you want to learn more about bees and how you can help, just check with the Bee Lab. Search Bee Lab or go to the address on your screen. <laughs>